Hi guys, my name is Jenny and I'm the curator for Historic Waco Foundation and we're here with another unboxing video since the first one went over so well. Uh, today we're going to be looking at handkerchiefs and many people don't think about handkerchiefs anymore. It's become a bit of a lost art form, um, but they're more than just an actual item that you use to wipe your nose or blot your makeup, but they're actually really beautiful in their own right. So let's take a look. Alright, the first one we're going to be looking at today is a monogram sampler piece. So, this item, as you can see here, has different numbers on it. I'll turn it to you. And you can see some of the examples here of what you can have as your own monogram for your own handkerchiefs. Uh, this was given to us uh, as a part of the Fentress collection, which included not just handkerchiefs, but fans as well, and is from approximately 1940. Um, so it just gives you an idea of what a store may have used uh, for monogramming your own personal individual uh, handkerchief. It also shows you the colors that could be used. The next item is a little bit is a little unique in the sense that it is a pocket insert and this was given to us by uh, Lewis O'Brien and family uh, and it is made out of paper and polyester and I love that it says hanky panky hank <laughs> and it shows the name of the business here in Waco and then on the back it's got some writing on it but this would have gone into your pocket and all you would have seen was the top portion. So some really charming and kind of an advertising spot that we necessarily don't think of um, today. Uh, the next one we want to look at is this men's monogrammed. Uh, and again, this is a smaller than maybe most men would have used. So maybe it was more of a dress, but it's got this beautiful um, monogrammed M on the item. Uh, we acquired this from the Woolette family here of Waco, um, and we acquired it from their estate in 1988. So just a beautiful example of uh, monograms that you may think of, but they don't always have to be. Most people think of handkerchiefs as being white, uh, but they actually could be any color the person who was carrying them chose to, chose to have. All right, our next item here is actually unique in the sense that it is made with pink silk in the middle and then hand crochet around the edges. Let me get this to lay right for you. There we go. So here you can see that someone took a lot of great time and care to hand crochet using a very fine thread, all these beautiful elements and wheels, and then carefully and delicately attached in this very fine pink silk. And this item is also again from the Willette family here and the scarf, uh, scarf, the handkerchief dates to about 1900 because it's all hand done so that gives us a better idea as far as time frame. Uh, incidentally, a lot of these techniques are also techniques that would have been used in scarves as well. So handkerchiefs and scarves are very much related. Uh, one of the last items we're going to look at today for today's unboxing video is this beautiful, it's a batiste, which is a style of linen, and it has this beautiful spring colored embroidery on it. I'll kind of let you get close and look at this. Um, this was given to us by Mark Simons family. Uh, it dates to uh, 1945. Uh, for those of you watching at home, it's about a 14 inch square, just to give you a size dimension. I know it's hard to tell looking at videos. But what's interesting is we actually have the Neiman Marcus box that it came in. Which it's rare for an artifact to have both the artifact and the box that it came in. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for another one.